Hi, it's Todd. And Louise. And uh, welcome to In Our Element. Today we're going to talk about beginning hiking tips for people of any age to help you physically and mentally on the trail. Correct? Yep, that's it. See you down the road. Tip number one, set realistic goals and expectations. Especially if you're not used to physical activity or you sit in a cubicle all day or you're kind of a couch potato, do not go out and expect to do 20 miles in a day, maybe not even 10. We made that mistake and did, what, 10 miles after not hiking in quite a few years in August in Florida in 95 degrees and it was a miserable hike. It's better to underestimate than to overestimate because if you overestimate your trip and you don't meet that expectation or goal, you're going to end up disappointed, probably in some physical pain, and possibly not want to hike again. If you underestimate your hike, the worst that happens is you blow past your expectation or goal, and it will really, really build your confidence. Another important tip is know your trails, know your terrain before you go. The best thing for doing that is an app called All Trails. All Trails, you can search for over 200,000 trails with trail info, maps, detail reviews and photos curated by millions of hikers, campers, and nature lovers just like you. With all trails, it'll show you on the maps of each hike that you choose. It'll show you the difficulty rating and the levels uh, by color-coded maps. Red for strenuous, uh, yellow or green for easy. Each one of them shows uh, changes in elevation and uh, so you know what you're getting yourself into before you start. The next tip is before you go on any hike, whether you're going mountain hiking, uh, hiking on the beach, et cetera, et cetera, it's really important that you stretch, stretch, stretch. I personally prefer yoga as my stretching of choice. Um, you can do whatever you like. I know my husband can't touch his toes. Uh, even if you, you know, struggle with it, if you do a simple yoga, exercise or stretching warm-up um, it'll get easier over time and trust me you'll thank me later for it trust me trust me you'll thank me later for it it's especially important to stretch out your calves and your hamstrings and all your muscles that lead up to your glute because you're going to need those especially if you're going up an incline just make sure whatever stretching you do it puts a lot of focus on your legs because that's what you're going to be using most for your hikes Best tip we can give you is definitely hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Uh, water is the most important thing we have in the trail, whether it's hot or it's cold. Bring at least one liter of water or two liters if it's hot. You know, even on a short hike, you'd be amazed how much you drink. You'd be sweating a lot and your body needs replenishment. Best thing to use electrolytes in your water. Try to stay away from caffeine and sugary drinks, sodas, things like that. Water, most important thing all together with hiking, must have. And bring some snacks too. Snacks, cookies. Another really important tip is to make sure you wear the proper footwear. Especially if you're gonna be if you're gonna be in a rocky terrain, you don't want to wear sandals, people. Or if you're going up inclines, declines, make sure you have the right amount of support that your feet need. Um, break your shoes in first. Don't wear them the first day you get them out on the trail, unless you're wearing, you know, all you know trail runners you don't have to go out and spend $150 or $200 on footwear immediately but just make sure you have something that gives you enough support and please don't wear flip-flops when you hike make sure you have an, you know proper adequate footwear to protect your feet on trail from anything you may run into trip over plus you really want ticks between your toes another tip and one of the best ones if you're gonna be outside especially in the woods or anywhere outside is to have insect repellent. Uh, best one to use is a brand called Sawyer a Keratin Lotion. You can rub it on, you can put it on your face. Uh, it lasts for up to 12 hours. It keeps mosquitoes, ticks, any, any flying bugs off of you. We don't recommend anything with DEET. DEET will actually destroy certain gear, melt plastic. Uh, a lot of people don't do well with the, those chemicals, so we try to stay away from those harsh chemicals. Uh, the picaridin is very mild, it's not toxic, and uh, works very well. And it has no smell whatsoever at all, really. So if you're looking for something that's uh, going to work awesome and uh, is reasonable in price, soar picaridin lotion. Don't go anywhere without it.
next tip when you go out hiking you don't want to wear cotton Cotton's going to get very hot. It's not going to work very well with sweat. It's not going to work very well, especially to keep you warm if you're sweating. Um, so wear stuff like uh, quick dry, uh, smart, wool. smart wool, merino um, wool, mer yeah, merino wool, um, quick dry nylon type uh, clothes that will wick the sweat away and uh, keep you drier and cooler. It'll and just maintain a comfortable body temperature, whether it's warmer or cooler. Check your weather forecast. Know what your weather is going to be. Yeah. If it's going to be rainy, bring a poncho, a rain jacket, whatever you have. Or if it's warm enough and you don't care if you get wet. Wear a sports bra. <laughs> Either way, good to check your local forecasts, uh, especially if you're going to be hiking in the mountains and you're going to be exposed to the weather. Uh, up oh, I got to rain drop my eye. Mm -hmm. The most important tip is to just get outdoors and have fun. It's not about the miles. It's about the smiles. <laughs>